Yo, what's good? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to snap meme coins, get better anxious, and upgrade your Bullocks experience with Nolan. I've been using Bullocks for half a year, and as many of you remember, sometimes my buy and sell orders were not getting filled, which led to many missed anxious and profits. Like for example in this clip. The ticker is alright. Oh, nice. Let me fill. Let me fucking fill in, bro. Fill me in, bro. Yo, pause. So as you saw there, I tried to buy like two times and none of the orders went through. But if I did buy, I would scalp and make profit. And it's not even about fees or slippage, because I had 0.01 fees and 10% slippage. So now let me show you how I get filled with Nova with the same fees. Yo, we have some tweet about... SDC confirms first severe case of H5NY bird flu in the United States. We might have a ticker. Yeah, we have one. God damn, my inch is godly, bro. In this clip, I quick bought a coin using Nova Click extension, which gave me perfect entry, and I ended up making around 7th soul. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to install, set up, and use Nova Click. Okay, so first thing you need to do is go to my description, go to Nova link, open it to G, and press start. If it still says that you're on the waitlist, press enter access code and type red with back. After you've granted access, Nova will generate a new wallet for you, and now you have two choices. You can copy private key of your wallet, go to Bullock's Wallet Manager, go to Import, and import your new Nova wallet. But if you want to trade on your old one, already existing wallet, like how I did, you can go to Nova, Wallets, Import Wallets, give it a name, and paste your private key. I recommend you to have the same wallet on Bullocks and Nova, so that you can buy with Nova and see your entries with Bullocks. For example here, when I got good entry with Nova, but I was selling with Bullocks. Why? Because I got high fees on Nova sales in case I need to get out quickly. And on Bullocks, I have my low fees preset with priority like this, so I can just be clipping 10% and not losing on fees that much. By the way, Nova fees are not higher than Bullocks. Even though it feels faster, Nova only takes 1%. After you imported your wallet to Nova, make sure to change it to default and don't forget to set up your security pin. So let's say if someone gets access to your TG account, if you have security pin on, then he won't be able to export your private key or withdraw your funds without entering your pin. After you've done that, we can move on to setting up Nova Click. This is what will let you buy and sell on Bullocks using Nova. Press Nova Click, go to this link that will take you to the Chrome Web Store and install this extension. Make sure you're only downloading from this link, so you don't install any copycats or scams. Also many people were asking me, is this extension safe? And I wouldn't be sharing if it wasn't. I'm really careful and I did my research before sharing with y'all. It says this extension is not trusted by enhanced safe browsing, only because it came out literally less than a month ago. And usually it takes around 4-6 to six months for Google to put extensions into safe category. But it shows only for me because I use enhanced protection. If you have standard, which is by default, you won't even see this message. Also recently, Nova completed security audit with Borg security. If you don't know, Borg reviewed Bullocks and Foron in the past, so this is really good. Now let's finish setting up Nova Click. You need to go to click.tradenova.io website, press connect your telegram, open in telegram desktop, and press start. Press launch Nova Click, click open, and now you're connected to Nova Click. So now if you go to Bullocks, Make sure to enable extension, reload page, and you'll be able to see Nova click buttons. By the way, if you're getting this suspicious extension pop-up while trying to use Nova on Bullocks, right now I'm gonna show you how you can quickly fix it. Go to Chrome Web Store, type uBlock Origin, and download the first one. When you have it installed, just open it, go to Settings, My Filters, and paste this code. If you don't want to type it manually, I'm gonna have it in my TG, so you can just copy and paste. Click Apply Changes, go back to Bullocks, refresh the page, and as you can see now, everything is good. Don't worry about this code, it just blocks this PNG image from popping up on your bullocks. Next thing, let's set up our buy and sell settings. If you wanna change your buy preset amounts, which are these buttons here, just click on Nova, type your values, also for quick buy, which is this button, that's how I usually snipe tweets, because it fills you way faster than bullocks buy, you can put your amount here and also click save. Now let's talk about fees, slippage and mail protection. So for Nova buys, you don't use bullock settings. These buy and sell settings only applying when you click buy here or within instant trade. So to set up your Nova settings, go to your Nova TG bot, press settings, and these are your settings you use with Nova Click. Buy and sell fee is your priority fee on bullocks, and buy and sell tip is your bribe on bullocks. 
Here you can see current recommended tip, 0.022, it depends on Solana network congestion. Also you can enable auto tip, you let Nova automatically calculate the recommended mail tip. Here you set up your slippage, I got 15% on buys and 30% on sales. Now let's talk about mail protection and processors. So for buys, I always use mail protection to protect my transactions from mail bots, getting mail is when a mail bot buys huge amount right before your transactions and sells right after your buy went through. So as you can see here, this wallet bought 5 sol, but he wasn't using mail protection and this mail bot bought 55 sol right before him, so the price jumped to 4.2 mil and then sold right after. Mail bot made like 0.3 and this wallet was supposed to get like 3.5 mil entry, but he lost like 20% just because he got mailed. So if you put mail protection in Nova, it's always gonna be Jira. Now for sales. As well as on Bullix, I don't use mail protection. Because I never got mapped on sales. I heard that some people were getting mapped on radium coins when trying to sell, but I rarely trade radium coins. 99% of the time it's on Palfan, so I don't need to use mail protection. What about processor on sales? I put on Ultra. The difference between Jiro, Node and Ultra is that Jiro will protect your transaction from mail bots. Node is a custom stake node by Nova and it's really fast but it's gonna be without mail protection and Ultra sends your transaction to Jiro and Node at the same time and which one lands first will be yours. So for quick sales I use Ultra. Quick buy and quick sell settings is only for Nova TG bot. When you buy coins through passing CA here. Auto buy is in FK mode to buy any coins automatically based off your rules. I don't really use it, but if you wanna learn more about this, you can click here and go to docstradenova.io. Also you can make presets for sniper, for copy shedding or limit orders. Now let's talk about sniper features Nova has. If you go to sniper, you can make a new task and here you can choose between sniper on radium or pound fund sniper. So radium sniper is when you want to insta buy or insta sell coin on migration. Pound fund sniper is to snipe newly created pound fund coins. If you click on it, you'll be able to set your settings and start this task. On wallet, you choose the wallet you wanna snipe with. Here you put your buy amount, buy slippage, buy fee, buy tip, mail protection and the processor. What about ticker, developer and mint? So ticker, let's say you're watching Elon Musk live on the conference or something and you're ready to snipe some tickers he says. Let's imagine he says I'm launching XML today and you know what's gonna happen. The first XML ticker in new pairs will probably bond. So what can you do is have your settings set up. As soon as he said it, press ticker, enter the name XML, activate the sniper and now the first XML that comes out on new creations, you're gonna snipe it. So you don't even need to worry pressing quick buy button. And if you put fees high enough, like 0.1 priority and 0.1 tip, you might be the first TX. So the ticker feature is definitely helpful. Developer is when you have a dev wallet from which he's gonna make a coin and you wanna snipe his launch. So let's imagine we know this dev. You can copy his dev wallet, press developer and paste it here. Also need to activate your sniper and next time, as soon as this dev launches, you're gonna snipe his coin. Mint is when you know save the coin before launch. You can also set up take profits and stop losses if you want. And now let me show you how you can quickly set up insta buy or insta sell on migration. So when you have a coin migrating, you'll be able to see the snipe button. You can click on it. After you press the button, you'll be able to see this pop-up in Nova TG bot. This is sniper task setup. This coin already bonded, but it doesn't really matter because I'm not gonna buy it. I can just show you how you can set this up. So first thing you need to do is set your wallet. So for example, I wanna snipe from my Bullix default wallet. Then you need to choose your mode. Is it you wanna buy when it migrates or sell? So let's say I wanna buy this coin as soon as it migrates. Here I put my buy amount, my buy slippage, my buy priority fee, my buy tip and my processor. If I wanna use mail protection, I put Jira. If you don't wanna use mail protection, you can put Ultra. Also, you can choose the min amount of tokens you want to receive. For example, I want to snipe 1 mil. And when you set your settings, now everything is ready. You just press here, it's gonna activate the sniper and as soon as this coin bonds, it's gonna insta buy for you. Now let's imagine I bought this coin at 20k and it's still migrating, but I find out that this AI is LARP. So I wanna insta sell migration because I know it's gonna dump. So you can go to wallets, choose the wallet you bought this coin from. For example, let's imagine I bought from Bullix. And now if I actually had this coin, I could switch to sell mode. But as you can see it says no tokens found in this wallet, please try again, because I never bought this coin and I don't hold any. But then after you switch to sell, you just need to set your settings and again activate the sniper by pressing this button. If you wanna really get out, I would recommend you to use high fees, especially tips. 
because if everyone find out that this coin is LARP, for example news are fake or this AI is fake, they're gonna insta sell migration too. It depends, but for example on this coin, my entry was 40k, it went to Redum, but everyone knew that this is not the real coin, and as you can see by the chart, it got insta sold right after migration. So for this insta sell, I used Nova, I put 0.1 priority fee and like 0.3 tip. So if we go to my sale transaction, on Soulskin you can see my fees, 0.1 priority and 0.3 Giro tip. So that's what helped me to get out at 60k. Okay, that's basically everything I wanted to show you about Nova. I've been using it for 2 weeks and I really like it, so you definitely need to give it a shot. Don't forget that I'm live streaming my 1 salt to 1 mil challenge every day on Twitch. I'll be happy to see you there. And as always, thank you for watching and see you in the next week.